Thank you so much, Steph. A grim milestone in the COVID pandemic. Canada has now surpassed 10,000 deaths connected to the virus. So we've seen virus caseloads take a big jump in multiple provinces this fall. New daily highs being regularly set. After reporting 165 COVID-related deaths last month, the Public Health Agency of Canada is reporting over 600 deaths so far this month. Quebec still leading the country with over 6,000 deaths reported. Ontario seeing 827 new cases yesterday, four new deaths, with the majority coming from the GTA and Ottawa. And as the second wave takes a deadly toll on the country, Prime Minister Trudeau is calling the pandemic a horrific national tragedy and is warning Canadians to brace for more. We are in an unprecedented global pandemic that really sucks. Those are his words. And in fact, words for a lot of people here. Trudeau went on to say Christmas and other winter holidays may look like Thanksgiving this year with large gatherings restricted. The PM is asking everyone to continue to follow advice from local health officials despite frustrations over conflicting information when it comes to Halloween, as well as testing requirements for students. Now, new cases also on the rise in the U.S., a record over half million in the last week alone, more than 70,000 new daily cases in the last seven days. Hospitalizations and deaths are also seeing an uptick across the country. In total, the U.S. has over 8.7 million cases, over 226,000 deaths. Globally, the World Health Organization has reported close to 3 million cases and 40,000 new deaths in the past seven days. Back here at home now, some pharmacies continue to struggle keeping up with the unprecedented demand for this year's flu vaccine. The patients themselves are bouncing around in the system to try to find uh, a suitable option to get a, a flu shot. So you've got people that may get frustrated and not even get their flu shot. They might give up and that's a missed opportunity to ensure that they get vaccinated and or, you know, they're, they're potentially exposing themselves to risk in community spread. The CEO, who you just heard from of the Ontario Pharmacists Association, says that pharmacies can't meet flu vaccine demand because supplies were allocated before the pandemic. But the Ontario government is still insisting there is no shortage and urging residents to get vaccinated. In an email to City News, the province says over 5 million flu vaccine doses have been ordered this year, 700,000 more than last year. As of October 22nd, more than 4 million doses have been distributed. Happening today, the man behind the 2018 Toronto van attack will appear in court to finalize details regarding his upcoming trial. Alec Manassian facing 10 charges of first-degree murder, 16 counts of attempted murder in connection with a tragic incident that happened April 2018 when he drove a van down a busy sidewalk near Young and Finch, killing 10 people and injuring several others. This trial is scheduled to start November the 9th, likely via video because of COVID. Well, there are now more options to help support local businesses through the winter months. Toronto City Council unanimously approving the extension of the Cafe TO program. This is the right thing to do as part of a program to try and assist these businesses to get back on their feet. We know that winter is coming and we know that we need to support winter patios where they're applicable at, as much as we possibly can. So we're giving businesses the flexibility to operate where it is safe and where it is possible during the winter months. You'll be able to dine on expanded patios and curbside cafes through the winter months into the spring, but with a few adjustments to allow for safe snow removal, businesses near public parks or on private property can continue offering their extended patios until April the 14th, and the fees and charges for that program will also be waived. Now, City Council will be reconvening today to discuss more ways to support our struggling restaurants during this modified phase two. We are live right now outside. Oh, it looks beautiful right now. Lovely shot outside City Hall this morning. Now on the agenda, a lot, including a motion calling on the Ford government to stop insurance companies from hiking premiums on bars and restaurants, as well as a new motion to put a cap on food delivery fees. So we'll be watching that. Although food delivery apps, they have been integral in providing a way for residents to support local eateries. The restaurants have to pay up to a 30% service fee to use them. Both Premier Ford and Mayor Tory have called on food delivery apps to cut those commissions. In the past week alone, diner volumes in the city were down almost 90% compared to the same time last year. 
Okay, we talked about this off the top of the show. Los Angeles and their champion Dodgers celebrating their first World Series title since 1988. We're just going to bring you one little snippet of it here. Final out of the game, strikeout as the Dodgers beating the Tampa Bay Rays. 3-1 in Game 6 for the World Series title. And an on-field celebration. And fans celebrating their first World wow. Series championship in 32 years. We're going to break it all down for you with Devo. Uh, he's got all the highlights. It was an historic night.